Hello everyone, how's it going? This is Andrew from Madman Reviews. We thought it was time to take a closer look at the good old 1911. This time we went for the 9mm models, which have their fan base too. Everybody who knows his way around guns knows that the 1911 pistol is the pinnacle of handguns. It went all downhill from there. Okay, it might not be that bad, and there might be some good firepower for your hand out there that is not a 1911, but who cares about that, right? Okay, well, let's get real for a moment. The 1911 has its place in the history of firearms, and it's a very important and honorable place, but it's not the only good handgun out there. However, that does not diminish neither the air of a 1911 nor its greatness or functionality. So it makes absolute sense to want one. It is and remains an icon of American firepower. Being such, even the 1911 could not completely escape the temptation to go 9mm. We all know that originally the 1911 was meant to shoot the 45 ACP. This is a great round that handles well out of the old gun and comes with a lot of power. Who wants to shoot a 45 ACP? Somebody does not want to shoot a target twice to neutralize it. Such and similar are the reasons to carry a 45, or be it just the fact that they do not make a 46. However, there might also be a reason to go 9mm. Going 9mm is not only question capacity. Let's face it, the 19 level is a single stack and packing it with 9mm does not change that. It just adds about one or two rounds. It's more about the price and recoil. You need twice as much material to make a 45 as you need to make a 9mm round. For this you pay twice the price. In other words, shoot 100 rounds of 45 ACP or 200 rounds of 9mm. Both will cost you the same. When it comes to recoil, the 45 ACP, especially as the most common variants with the 230 grain bullet, can really make itself felt. The 9mm, to the contrary, is almost impossible to feel. It's just so tame that it does not have great requirements for recoil management or a high threshold for pain. This is the reason why many old shooters of 45 ACP make the switch to 9mm while the younger generation appreciates the price advantage. Let's take a look at some of the models of 9mm 1911s. As always, the links to the guns mentioned here are in the description. Ruger Custom Shop SR 1911 Competition The Ruger Custom Shop SR 1911 Competition comes with a 5-inch barrel that gives even a 9mm some punch. The barrel is hand-fit, the rear sight is adjustable, and it has a fiber optic front sight. Furthermore, it comes with a beaver tail grip safety, has a match trigger and 25 LPI check ring. Here you get all the good stuff that you expect in a 1911 and more. However, all the goodies in one package want a lot of goodies from you. 2,500 of them. This is not a good price for everyone, but there might be some folks out there who can easily cash out $2,500. For all others, you might want to look at a different gun. The Ruger SR 1911. Ruger has had some standard model of the 1911 and 9mm that should not be forgotten. They range from 5 inch barrels to 4.25 inch in the Commander and only 3.5 inch in the Officer models. It's a question of weight, power, optic, and purpose. There's even a lightweight model. This one comes with a skeleton trigger, thumb safety, Novak sights, and two 9 round mags. Unloaded, it puts 29.3 ounces on the scale and it's really easy to handle. The MSRP stands north of $950, but the real price is more in the range of $800. Colt Defender 9mm. Let's face it, when it comes to a 1911 pistol, only Colt is original. However, how much that copies to a 9mm, that means not a 45 ACP, is a different topic. Anyway, of course, there are Colt 1911 on the markets and are doing well. It does not have to be a Colt Defender stainless steel and 45 ACP. You want 9mm, just go for the Colt Defender 9mm and blue steel finish. Having a beaver tail grip safety does not set it apart. Just put it right where the other 1911s are. What does set it apart is its 3-inch barrel. That might cost you some punch using the 9mm, but it does add a lot to its concealability. Also, it weighs only 24 ounces. This makes it light enough to comfortably carry it around all day. With an MSRP a dollar below a thousand, it does not come in at ultra expensive, but also not as ultra budget. However, it is a 1911, even at 9mm and a bit smaller. Thereby, it is one of the greatest guns humanity has ever invented. That alone is a reason enough to consider this little package. Colt 1911 9mm Competition Want to go for the whole 5 inch and shoot a lot further than just 9 yards? Get yourself the competition model of the Colt 1911 and 9mm. It does not break your bank coming in the SS variant with an SMRP a bit below $1,000 or in blued steel finish below $850. If you're not really convinced of the 9mm, you can get the same model range in 45 ACP. However, sticking with the 9mm, we have a skeleton trigger, national match barrel, Novak sights, fiber optic front sides, and G10 grips. This is a model to shoot exactly where you aim and to spray the target with rounds because you can. Who said that 9mm you shoot a target only once? Springfield Armory 1911 Range Officer Springfield Armory is well known and it brings its own variant for a 9mm 1911 gun, the Range Officer model. 
It comes in standard with target sights or as an operator model with rails and combat rear sights and fiber optic front sights. With a 5 inch barrel and a 9 round mag, it gives you a good bang for your buck. The skeleton trigger and hammer gives it a great look and the MSRP revolves around 940. This does make it the most affordable gun but also not the most expensive one. 1911 match elite stainless full size 9mm Luger. When it comes to great guns, one name should not be missing from the list. And this is Sig Sauer. Of course, does this manufacturer also have a contribution to the 1911 legacy, even in 9mm. 1911 Match Elite 9mm offers you all the good stuff you want in the great pistol. You have a skeleton match trigger, 25 LPI checking on the front of the grip, and a 20 LPI checking on the housing of the main spring. That gives you a perfect grip, and then there's the inherent precision in the gun. It shoots like no other, but it also costs you close to 1100 MSRP. Vigil Commander 9mm. Dan Wesson Firearms is another maker offering a 9mm variant of the 1911. With a barrel length of 4.25 inches, it's just a tiny bit smaller and handier than other 1911 platforms. It has a forged aluminum frame, adjustable rear sight, and a 25 LPI checkering at the front and rear. This makes it a gun that is good to hold and easy to handle. The MSRP stocks at $1,300, but the real price in the shop is more around $1,150. Taurus PT 1911 9mm. This model is for all who are looking for a good budget price. It comes in at $460, so it's definitely affordable. For the price, it does not have to hide itself. It comes with a 5-inch barrel, a beaver tail grip safety, keloton trigger, and more. The latter includes an ambidextrous safety and cocking serrations. When it comes to Taurus, they are one of the best guns this manufacturer produces. Kimber Pro Carry 2. Looking for a halfway between a 5 and a 3-inch barrel? Look no further. Here's the 4-inch model from Kimber. Here too you get a skeleton trigger and hammer, beaver tail grip safety and a nice finish. The wood grips give it an extra nice touch, shoots pretty well and with a 9 round magazine you can get some lead on the target. To really feel this gun and use it as your own you have to cash out an MSRP of $900. And there you have it. If you like the content give us a like, share the video and subscribe to our channel as much more is coming up.